how do you kind of view uh, running the deep ball? Like, like what's what's the most important part to that? And then uh, kind of related to that, um, what's it like working with Jameis, just knowing he can stretch the field like that? Yeah, uh, obviously it's different. Um, no disrespect to Drew, but a lot of those deep um, those deep balls weren't really active. Not saying they weren't active, but you kind of knew like, all right, you might not get at this um, this play. But with Jameis, uh, it's always an option, considering the fact that he can throw the ball deep downfield. So it's just really always being alive because you never know. And I, I feel like uh, I either heard him say he told you in the huddle he was coming that way, or maybe I saw a video where he told you that on the sideline or something like that. Um, did, did, did you kind of figure that was coming on that play? You just kind of had to be ready for it? Uh, we knew uh, once we was going to run that play, uh, depending on what coverage we got, to just definitely be alive. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm active no matter what, but once I saw that safety cut, I knew uh, uh, just the look that we was talking about. But, yeah, he told me on the sideline, like, just be ready. You never know. Nick Underhill. How beneficial was the work you guys put in uh, just during the off season at his house and some other places? And then even during camp, there were some places where he mentioned the timing was off and then it got there. Just how much time on task that goes into just being able to hit one of those? Yeah, uh, I mean, any extra work is always is always good. Um, obviously, you know, we're going to get our reps in and practice. But, you know, for us to be able to go out and be in the same location during the off season and, and get the work in and get the timing down and, and get the um, – the routes that we want or get the concepts that we want and just to be able to, you know, practice that so we can maximize it come training camp and then come um, the regular season. Ron Walker. Hey, Deontay, I know you got uh, one punt return the other day and I know they kicked two of them out of bounds, but how frustrating is that for you that, <laughs> you know, when the teams do that? Yeah, no, it's boring uh, considering that that's really how I started my career, you know. Uh, Hopefully, uh, other teams don't have that same mindset where um, they're trying to kick it away. Hopefully, they, they want their players to, you know, try to make plays. So, it's definitely frustrating and annoying, though. Does it make you feel like you've got stuff earned your respect, though, the teams are doing that already in your career? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely feel like I earned my respect, but at the same time, I just, you know, I want those guys to not respect me so that they kick me the ball. Luke Johnson. Yeah, this is the first time we've had a chance to talk to you, uh, I, I think, since training camp started. So uh, what, yeah, how, do, how do you feel your, your game has evolved since you first got into the NFL? I, I mean, it seems like um, you, know, you worked your way up from being a return specialist to having a role in the offense, and this year it's, it's kind of an even bigger role. So how, how do you feel like that's kind of all gone for you? Uh, I think me just understanding the offense. Um, I think I was the first year I really struggled. The second year I kind of... I got into like a rhythm, but I was I was down because of the injuries. But now, uh, just being able to um, even work with Jameis and just understand why we do certain things, and uh, Coach CJ obviously just talking to him in the off season, and just you know just getting that extra mental work um, so that uh, when I came in this year, I could be ready to go. I think I remember asking CJ about it, and and he was like, in the first two years, like everybody wanted. To to get their hands on you, whether it was special teams or whatever. Um, have, have you been able to, to kind of focus more on the offensive side of things? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, obviously I got to work at, you know, being able to catch punts and, and uh, catch returns. But after the catch is, is, is just God-given ability. So for me to be able to focus and lock in on, you know, route concepts and just learning the offense, that definitely helped a lot. Nick Underhill. How are you guys handling this week without uh, having CJ there in the meeting room and that? Uh, you know, it's just more adversity that we're going through. Um, but, you know, we're still talking to him every day. He's still texting us stuff, and, and we still FaceTiming him and just going over some of the stuff. So, I mean, obviously we want our guy to be back and healthy. But, um, you know. Was, was Curry spending some time? It looked like he was spending some time with you guys uh, at practice. Is it just kind of all hands on deck, or is there just kind of like one guy that's working with you guys? No, it's all hands on deck. So usually we usually just meet as receivers, and sometimes like after practice we'll meet with the quarterbacks. But it's been basically everybody but the offensive line. Now we got Sean helping us with the install and stuff like that. So it's really just all hands on deck. Mike Triplett. Deontay, you – just answered in your question a couple of questions ago that your first year you really struggled on offense. I, I don't remember hearing you talk about that before. I know they did. I know you were getting acclimated to everything, but but were you having trouble adjusting to the offensive first? 
Uh, it was just the terminology. Um, the college I came from, we didn't have, we didn't have play calls like this. Everything was just signals. And, uh, so for me to I, for me to come here and have to basically learn a playbook, a whole new playbook, and then try to learn the term, terminology and everything, it was uh, it was difficult. It was difficult for me um, considering where I came from. I wouldn't say the physical part was was where I struggled. It was the mental part for me. Yon DeShazer. Yeah, I mean, how important was it for you to add that receiver element in the NFL? I mean, you could have been satisfied just being a good returner. How important was it for you to add that receiving element? Uh, for me, it was it was a it was a need. Um, like I did, I didn't want to just be labeled as a returner. Uh, I felt as though my my uh, ability could could be shown more um, with the ball in my hands, no matter uh, on offense as well. So, you know, I just wanted to help the offense. Um, whichever way possible, and uh, I felt that I could just do more than just special teams. Luke Johnson. Yeah, they, I mean, we, we've seen you run some deep balls in the past, um, but it, has, has your role changed a little bit in this offense this year? Maybe maybe a little bit less of the like jet sweep sort of thing, short passes, and, and kind of you put more in a position where you can take the top off the defense more. Yeah, so I, I got really a combination, and I think that's just, uh, you know, them trusting me more, I think, um, and uh, just trusting me being able to get open. So I think they were just, I think they just wanted to give me more and see how I handled it, and I think so far I've been handling it good. So I think it's the, the, um, the more we go or the further to go, the more they'll give me.